Hi, this is Clayton Skinner. Hi, I'm Clayton Skinner. My name is Clayton Skinner. My name is Clayton Skinner. Welcome back to Beyond the Beat. Welcome back to Beyond the Beat. Welcome to Beyond the Beat. Hello again. This is Clayton Skinner. And in this episode, we're going to be going over transitioning different hi-hat patterns while playing the same beat underneath. So specifically, we're going to be playing quarter note grooves, eighth note grooves, sixteenth note grooves. And like I said, hi-hat, playing the same beat underneath them. It's kind of like transitioning between different music styles. It's not a very difficult subject to master. Uh, I really just kind of needed to make a video about this so that I could use it to reference stuff in future videos. So, you know, I don't know, shut up. So what you just saw me do there was just basically demonstrating exactly what we're doing. Uh, I just played a simple beat, one and three bass, uh, two and four snare drum. And I started with quarter notes on the hi-hat. You can play the ride, doesn't really matter between, actually I would suggest you practice both of them. Uh, then I started, then I transitioned to eighth notes, then I did sixteenth notes. So you can kind of see the way they sound up against each other. And uh, this is a good way of practicing different music styles, different, different uh, ways of playing. And it can it can actually make the song sound completely different just by simply changing the hi hat pattern. So there you go. Before you get started, though, I would suggest that you understand how to play each one of these things. So if you're going to play the quarter notes, make sure you know the quarter notes. If you know the eighth notes, make sure you know the eighth notes. And if you're going to do the sixteenth notes, make sure you do the sixteenth notes. So once you've got that, uh, you got the basics of it down. You can actually transition between them. You can actually start using different kind of playing styles specifically on whatever you're playing the quarter notes, eighth notes, or sixteenth notes on. So like for instance, I like to play quarter note grooves with an open hi-hat kind of feel, so you're really letting them sizzle. Psh, 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 psh. You can do the same thing obviously by playing it on one of your crash cymbals. Uh, you could probably even do it on a splash if you really wanted to. You can do whatever you want. Eighth notes, you can kind of play them whatever way you want. You can accent every other one keep them the same, doesn't really matter, practice both ways. Sixteenth notes, you can practice by just gently tipping, or you can do like kind of a molar push-pull, kind of almost uh, like a ska or a reggae type feel, whatever you want. Uh, practice varying that kind of stuff up, because again, that right there can take the changes you've already made by transitioning between those three different styles and make them completely different all over again. So you might as well. It just kind of uh, gives you some variance to what you're doing. So anyway, always use a metronome right on. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time.